Hey, what's going on? It is Tuesday, and it's time for an all-new Fatal Vision. How are you? So, uh, yeah, we are going to be celebrating a bit of a special milestone today because we finally broke 600 subscribers. And as a special treat to you guys, and my own way of saying thank you for getting me this far, I figured I would crack open this alpha build of Biohazard, which came out in late 1995 and after i'm done with this one we're going to crack open the pretty much pre-final release which came out in january of 96 and i think the japanese version came out like two or three months afterwards but either way i'm really excited to see the differences between how they started out and before we finally got the final release so you know the drill sit back relax grab a drink and let's play some damn games first thing i'm going to fix here is we're going to just adjust this right here. You don't have to see my ugly mug no more. I'm just taking the sights and sounds. And boy, look at that title screen. And I miss that old Capcom logo. I guess they hadn't recorded the game demos just yet. Yeah, look at that. Wow. I don't know about you. I personally like the name Biohazard better. I mean, Resident Evil's cool. It's unique. And you can't necessarily copyright biohazard but there's just something really sinister about biohazard you know character select screen looks a little different all right we've got chris and chris it's a chrissy day nothing wrong with a little variety right yeah but anyway how you doing hopefully you had a nice weekend hopefully you had a good labor day hopefully your week is going nice so far and he's thinking about it. We don't have the cutscene in just yet. No Wesker. But there's Jill. Nice. He ain't talking, though. What the hell? Jesus, I almost prison shanked her. Oh, so triangle interacts. Alright, now I barely, barely, barely understand Japanese. Like, at most, I can order meat and water and sushi, and I can tell you if it's a small town or a big train station, you know? But those two letters at the beginning, I know that's go, and then the fish hook thing looking there is uh, she. I think she's saying I'll stay right here, or I'll stand right here. There's like a 99% chance that I'm wrong. Like, I'm still learning. But that's... That is weird. Like, I'm not pressing the ready button. You just hit square and he starts stabbing. Where's the start button, though? Like, you can't go to the status screen or anything. What the... I'm just kind of pushing buttons at this point. There's no run, either. Yeah, this is awkward. Like, I'm so used to playing at the original Y. Oh, fuck walls. Turn away for just one second. Great. Alright, this is open. Can I grab the key? They probably haven't implemented that yet. Alright, get off of me. I doubt that I have, like, a health system, because this is just, like... I don't know, I guess you can call this, like, the first thing that the world has ever seen of Resident Evil. So, it's like... I think they showed this off at some sort of a convention, so it was to get interest going for it. And this is the dining room. No kidding. Something else. Where's my prison shank, though? I get... It Ah, okay. So you generate it by hitting circle. Let's check on Kenny. Oh, fuck! Where's the run button? Jesus Christ. Wait, I, I kind of... Wait, you run by double tapping? Okay, that's weird. What the hell is the hunter doing there, though? Alright, let's try to figure this out. What did I push to... It's got... Wait. Oh, wait. 
All right, so circle cycles through the weapons you got. There's the pistol. There's a shotgun. And then it goes to nothing. I guess they haven't put the magnum in yet. All right, so at least we got the pistol. I right, can't interact with that. Can't interact with that. This is weird, the double tap to run thing, though. All right, so they haven't put the puzzles in yet. Can I get the music score? They haven't even fixed it so you can push the stuff aside. Maybe this is it right here. You know, if you eat green plants to get health, can I just eat that fern right there? All right, so you still have to hit R1 to get into the ready position and square fires. You know, I kind of like how it zooms into the door like that. That's pretty neat. the original scream a little bit better kind of like tingles your bones instead of tingling your balls like the later one does I'm gonna just go out on a limb and assume that that says locked from the other side where's Kenny there's no Kenny they took Kenny this is kind of like when you go back to the mansion for the second time after you get done with the dormitory like, I remember being freaked out when Kenneth's body was gone, like, the first time I played this game. Like, I figured that the hunters ate him. Come here. That's it? Just three shots? Still got it. That's it, that's what takes him out. I guess they upped the damage here in the final release. All right, you, come with me. Yeah, you can't, wait. Oh, that's neat. If you double tap on the right and left, it does like a quick about face. And it looks like they haven't implemented like the flash or the smoke yet. Little touches that went in at the end. But seriously, this really fascinates me because it's kind of like you're opening up one of those like time capsules, you know? always one there. A headshot. What? I fixed his ass, didn't it? Nothing there. Yeah, I highly doubt that you're going to be able to interact with much. There's still, like, plenty more work to do. Locked. For all I know, it just says, fuck you, you can't go in there. That camera trick, though, that's neat. I like that. Kind of wish they would have left that in there. Wow, this is different. This is really different. Wow. Oh, damn, there's Kenneth. And he's already got his legs gone. Oof. It's a great camera angle, though. And Chris is just like, shame. Ah, oh, there's a headshot. When you aim at him on chest level. Okay. But I mean, still, it's a good look into how much things progressed as the development cycle went along. I mean, you can tell that they obviously had the camera angles in mind. They obviously had the character models in mind. They had the graphics locked down pretty solid. I think it went through a little bit of polishing. Let's see what the dogs do. 
Bad is not a dog. Ah, Christ, they still do the little spider thing. Yeah, this is exactly like in the second Return to the Mansion. Finally get new music now? I guess not. Yeah, it's probably the best way that you can get a good view of the character model. I mean, he's like really shadowed in. But yeah, that's it. I don't like how you get the shell casings. But you don't get the flesh, you know? And I can't seem to aim up or down with the knife. Detail on the stars patch, though. Very nice. Stands out. Alright, nothing there. What about the bathroom? Watch, if you flush the toilet, it warps you to, like, the helipad at the end of the game. Call for the helicopter and you leave. Doesn't seem like they fixed it up either, where like when you would walk on different surfaces, you would hear different sounds. Like even when I'm walking on hardwood floor, it sounds like I'm walking on carpet. I mean, the mechanic is there because now you can hear it. Watch, as soon as I go in, the ceiling becomes active and that crushes you. That's the end of the demo. Yeah, I mean, even at this state, though. All right, the shotgun's there, but why would I mess with that? Because I can just push circle and get one. See? But you can see that not a whole hell of a lot has changed, except for a lot of fine-tuning. I mean, probably the biggest change that I've noticed is just Kenneth is sitting in that one side room as opposed to, you know, where you always find him. I always figured that it would have been pretty cool, though, if, like, maybe they would, like, roam the mansions. Like, not as zombies, but, I mean, like, alive. And you could save them, kind of like what they did with Clock Tower on the SNES. Like, depending on what you did... They, like, like some would survive, some wouldn't survive. Like, maybe if you got to Kenneth in time, or if you found Kenneth, Forrest would be dead, and vice versa. And see, now this is interesting, too, because if you take a look really closely, like, I see three active crows. Like, there's multiple crows there, but they're a part of the background to make it look like it's a little more crowded, I suppose. Yeah, the models still look pretty much the same. They changed the whole cacao thing. They look pretty damn detailed. That puzzle's not here either. You see? Where you get the wind crest. Now we'll just get out of here. But you know what? L let me see what happens if you piss them off. Can you piss them off? Oh, yeah, you can piss them off. I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's check out the one thing. Like, if the puzzles haven't been implemented yet, maybe you can go to the work shed, the dormitory. Oh, shit. See, I love it when they walk towards you and then they suddenly break out into some, like, like into a run. Yeah, that's scary, y'all. Yeah, see, it's not there, so you can go to the work shed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, I remember that. Like, I used to see pictures of this. So that's it? That's nuts. 
I figured this would have gone on a little bit longer, but I mean, hey. About 15 minutes worth of stuff to look at, you know? Not bad. So yeah, that was the um, alpha build of Resident Evil, and like I said, this was the first glimpse into what the world saw that would become into Resident Evil. I mean, this was your first impression, if you were seeing this, you know, in 1995, of what would come out, what, four or five months later? Like, this, like, I would have been interested, no matter what, because, I mean, just, like, looking at it in EGM had me interested enough. Just the pictures, just the premise, everything about it, like, got me fascinated by this. And if I saw this when they released it at that convention that they did, I, I would have been blown away by it, because this was, at that point, unlike anything I had ever seen. It's pretty awesome. So, yeah, um, I wish I could have shown you a little bit more, but I guess that's all they had to show us. So I thought this was pretty cool, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. As soon as I sign off from this, I'm going to crack open the other one, and we'll pile through that and see what's there. So, yeah, thanks a lot for dropping by and inviting me in your day like this. Thanks so much for getting me to 600. I really appreciate you guys. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a good one, and I hope to see you real soon when you check out the next version, right? Right? Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye.